I'm gonna keep stealing and robbing till the day I die. Gangsta! Hello friends, my name is Brandon Date, and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red Team Rocket Edition. I've got to go report to Archer and let him know about my, uh, deal with Bill. Yes, I want to get off my bike so I don't fucking jump off the, the ledge on accident. And I guess we'll see how it goes. You might want to make your way rather quickly downstairs. There's a slight degree of agitation going on down there. Oh, snap. Ronnie got in trouble, right? Not good, not good. You guys, you're not gonna believe this. The cops are in town. They're up by the old TM collector's house. I swear, we only barely got away before they had us in cuffs just now. No kidding, man. What do you think we're all so worked up over? Hmm. Jeez, what are we gonna do? You think they're onto us? But they couldn't have seen us. We were real stealth-like. <laughs> Blowing a hole through the wall. They got no reason to think it was us, and not some other old burglar, have they? Hmm. Come on. You can't know if at least one of us didn't slip up and get spotted at some point. I mean, I'm sure it doesn't have to take a genius of a bystander to spot a crew of rockets running around in the house being robbed and somehow connect the two, does it? That's enough. Please be quiet, all. There should be no reason for alarm. The police have arrived at the scene a lot quicker than they usually do, granted, but there's no reason for them to suspect us in particular just yet. And even if they did, well, we've got enough influence in the Kanto Police Department to ensure the repercussions for us will be minimal. No, this is a far too low-impact episode for them to take any definite action. Unless, of course... Hey guys, check this out! It's on the TV! Get over here, quick! Ah, crap. We made the news. <laughs> well, I mean, I... Kinda excited about that, but kinda not so much. <laughs> What's it say? Hey dude, I can't see. How about you find some other place to watch that isn't right in front of my face? Bro, I can't there's no room. Okay, I guess I'll just I guess I'll just listen. And now, in alarming crime related news, a renowned collector of technical machines was earlier today a victim of a vicious robbery while away from his Cerulean City home. Police arrived at the scene shortly after the incident, but were unable to catch the perpetrators before they made their escape. Our own Northern Canto reporter, Ford Regular, reports from the scene. I I don't even know what happened. I was just up on my regular hike on Mount Moon and I came back down and all my hard-earned TMs were gone. And here I'd gone and planned all year to teach this here dig TM to my little Sancho or Mankey or what have you, and now it's all gone. And they dug this giant hole right through my wall. I mean, these crooks are digging their way into no good, I say. Hmm. Truly an unnerving tale from this poor homeowner. Now we understand that your daughter here was out playing in the vicinity when this incident took place, and that she in fact was witness to some of the actions of the criminals responsible. Now miss, would you mind explaining to us exactly what you saw? Well, you know, I don't know exactly if it was the same people, but there was this creepy guy who tried to rob me earlier. Truly shocking. <laughs> yeah, he was a real funny looking guy. He had green hair and these like weird black pajamas. He had me fight him in a Pokemon battle, and after he won, he tried to steal my Pokemon. I wouldn't let him have them though, so he just told me something about being too old and then he ran off. I don't know where he went to exactly, but I think I saw him with some other guys wearing the same funky outfits after. It was really weird. Now, Mr. Officer, I'm led to understand that with the aid of this young lady's description, the Kanto Police Department has gotten a rather good idea of who might behind, be behind this crime? That's correct. The variation in footprints, as well as the speed with which the operation was carried out, make it clear that this burglary was carried out by a larger group working together. Hmm. Furthermore, the uniforms described by the witness leave little doubt in our investigators' minds. Team Rocket must be behind this most heinous crime. Oh my goodness. You heard it here first, viewers. The Kanto Police Department believes, in other words, that this burglary was an act of organized crime by the notorious anti-government organization Team Rocket. Positively nerve-wracking. To think that these wretched criminals are currently on the loose, roaming the streets. Viewers are advised to guard their homes and their Pokemon with lethal force if necessary. 
In light of this and other reported crimes by this criminal organization, we reached out to Champagne Lance for comment. My goodness, it goes all the way up, doesn't it? <laughs> it's come to my attention that the Kanto region has recently been the victim of several acts of organized crimes at the hands of this Team Rocket. Hmm. I'm also led to believe that this organization has perpetrated a number of lesser crimes, primarily around the Celadon area, but that the local police force has had a tendency to turn a blind eye to these misdemeanors. Mm. With this burglary, as well as with recent reports of similar mischievous behavior on Mount Moon and at the Pokemon Tower in Lavender, the Rockets have proven themselves to pose a genuine threat to regional security. I'm raising the alert level to orange. <laughs> All of this, of course, is completely unacceptable. I have therefore decided to initiate a new program to combat organized crime. We will bring these rockets to justice. You could try, bruh. We are stationing federal police agents in every major city across the region. These specially trained, morally impervious forces will actively combat larger criminal or operations and will provide victims of crimes with a safe avenue in which to report these perpetrators. Hmm. Furthermore, as of today, each and every identified member of Team Rocket is a wanted criminal. For every Pokemon reported stolen by each member, the bounty on his or her head will increase. These public bounties should help raise awareness among the citizens of Kanto about the region's most notorious criminals. In addition to informing authorities of their whereabouts, citizens are advised to stay away from, and especially to avoid assisting in any way, these individuals. Businesses such as Pokemarts are also encouraged to deny service to wanted criminals in order to prevent undue damage to their reputation. Of course, we will... Of course, we will want... We want equally to encourage criminals who choose to renounce their evil past evil doings and become law-abiding citizens again. That is why any rocket who chooses to hand back a stolen Pokemon to a local police officer will have the bounty on his head reduced in proportion to the strength of the returned Pokemon. Additionally... Police officers will hand out rewards to former criminals who have kept a record of good behavior over longer periods. Hmm. Finally, with these measures, we will move confi confidently in the direction of a crime-free Kanto. No lowly thug should ever be allowed to threaten the security or the well-being of this proud region. Hmm. That is all. Well said, well said. Yes, indeed. The regional police force is reportedly working around the clock to implement Net Lance's new anti-crime program. We'll bring you more news on this progress as it, as it arrives. Oh shit, Archer. What do we do? He's upset too. <laughs> oh no, they're on to us. I knew those cops meant trouble. Now what are we gonna do? Man, I don't wanna go to jail. Yeah, I get raped by a machoke. <laughs> Roddy, you worthless piece of crap. Now we've got the police and the government on our heels all because you couldn't keep yourself from robbing every little girl you come across. Yeah, you punk. Why couldn't you just stick to the mission like the rest of us, huh? You always had to be the hothead, didn't you? Shame on you, Ronnie. But, but guys, give me a break. How was I supposed to know that the brat was the collector guy's daughter? I mean, I was just doing exactly what all of you do. Matter of fact, I bet your stinking asses would have done exactly what I did if you'd have had the chance, you dumb little... Enough. Enough, Grunt. Be quiet. Hmm. Lance, that son of a grand bull. Pretending like he hasn't known about our operations for ages already. Ridiculous. Grunts, the day Lance gives a Rattata's ass about Kanto's safety will be the day I die. But he's clearly decided that now is a good time to seem like a do-gooder for the press. What exactly this means for us, I'm going to have to discuss with the boss. The bloody pulp to which you and your family will be beaten should you ever reveal any confidential information to the police should not be news to you anyways. Besides that, I don't really care whether any one of you get the police on your tail or not. You rob or refrain from robbing as you see fit, and then you personally suffer whatever consequences come from that. I might also add that, however morally impervious Lance thinks his special cops are, I've yet to meet a Kanto policeman who's totally immune to bribery. Anyhow, the bottom line is, keep doing as you've been told, grunts. You still get to be Pokemon gangsters, just don't be stupid about it, alright? 
Well, that's a good plan. <laughs> no freaking out here. Well, I won't pretend like my capacity for giving praise to anyone at all was not a little hampered just now, but I'll try my best. Great work on your mission, Dayton. You've saved our Porygon supply, and you've done it without even having to expend more resources than we can afford. I'm going to personally commend you to Boss for a job well done. Yay! So, it is in good conscience that I trust you with another high-stakes mission. I'll get right down to it. We're involved in smuggling in a smuggling deal with a certain gym leader down in Vermilion City. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Given his rather public status as a Kanto veteran from the war, it should come as no surprise that Surge happens to be a rocket sympathizer. Hmm, anyway. The good lieutenant has managed to get a number of rare Johto Pokemon smuggled into the SS Anliner that's just about to dock at the Vermilion Harbor. He'll be handing them over to us in exchange for some goods that our scientists have synthesized in the lab here in the other room. Go pick him up, and then head south of here through Saffron to get to Vermilion City. The rocket admin we've stationed there is a bit of a downer, but you should probably meet up with him just to lend yourself a bit more credibility when dealing with Surge. Did you get all of that? That's a good lad. Pick up those drugs from our scientists, and off to Vermilion with ya. Okay. Drugs. You got some drugs for me? I'm looking for drugs. Mm, yes, the exponential function with the product with the square root of the negative one and pi as input and oh Okay <laughs> Oh my god, that's insane Okay, just one more cat video and I'll get to back to work now He's memeing hard bruz. Hey bruh, you memeing hard? Yeah, you're Dayton? The grunt who's carrying out that smuggling deal with Lieutenant Surge? Yeah, it took us ages to get it strong enough, but here's the stuff he wanted. Treat it with care now Steroids Sweet. Thanks, bruh. Synthesizing first grade anabolics is a crafty art, especially when it's for a great big brute of a man, I tell ya. Is Lieutenant Surge that much of a brute? I guess. I'm taking my revenge on all the kids who picked on me in high school by becoming the ultimate evil scientist. Professor Chaos. <laughs> ah, Pokemon. If you can't exploit him for profit, then what's the use of him? She got a Poliwhirl, and a Lapras, and a Seal. Man, I hope that Lapras will lay an egg before too long. Those things are so rare, man. Be ashamed to just let it go. Yeah, give me the Lapras egg. Can I have it, please? Oh, these are the breeding, uh, pits. Breeding pits. What's all the commotion? It's not as if we joined Team Rocket because we're after societal acceptance, is it? Well, fair point. <laughs> and what am I going to do with my life now? What's mom going to say about me if she finds out? You've always been a disappointment, son. Ha! <laughs> it's not as if I can afford anything the Pokemar at the Pokemart anyways. <laughs> Preach. Lance and the police can't hold me down. I'm going to keep stealing and robbing till the day I die. Gangsta! Maybe I should just catch and train my own Pokemon like a normal trainer now. Uh, I don't know what I should do. Well, Dayton, what are we going to do now? We're gonna keep being badasses as always, right? You know, I heard these guys back at HQ and Celadon were setting up some kind of rewards program for the most infamous criminals in Team Rocket. Nice timing, right? I say screw Lance's... Screw taking Lance's bait. I'm gonna be as bad as I po can possibly be, damn it. I think I am too. I mean, I come this far. I didn't join Team Rocket to be a nice guy. Right, right? I don't think the Underground Pass is open. Oh, it is. Sweet. I thought they said I should head through, uh, Saffron or something like that. Whatever. Hey, girl. Got a light handsome? Oh, she's just smoking. Smoking the drugs. I'm good, you know. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You doing all right there, mister? Oh, this is, uh, this is that sort of place, huh? Oh, no need to make trouble about it. Just chill. What do you think you're doing, punk? Get out of my face. He's, uh, soliciting. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to finally be here with you, Julian. I couldn't stand waiting any longer. I came as soon as I could, you know, like we promised. Yeah, whatever, hun. You be good and I'll take care of you real nice. What do you want, pal? You know the drill. Any of these ladies cause you any trouble, come talk to me. This one here's occupied for the time being, okay? Alright, you have a nice time there. This underground path, I never noticed it as a child, but 
It's got to be one of the shadiest places in the whole region. Ah, so what? Some people sell the pussies down there? <laughs> oh man, I've got some leveling to do, I do think. Let's see if we can uh, find some more fight. Hey bro, you want some more fight? There aren't many bugs out here. Cool, so maybe you have something decent for me? <laughs> Bug catcher Kigo! Hey, he got that Weedle. That Weedle, son! I'm gonna go ahead and rock throw that. String shot is really not gonna have much of an effect. Geodude's already slow as shit, didn't you know? Obviously a Weedle moves faster than him. And now you're dead. And now you're dead. See how that works? Should've gone for the poison sting or something. Oh well. Too late now. What else you got for me? Paris? Kinda scared of like an absorb or something like that. Oh, stun spore. Sure, screw with the speed some more. That's that's fine. Uh, of course he gets fully paralyzed. Yep, yep. That sounds about right. Leech life, thank goodness. Bug only move. If he has like absorb or mega drain or something like that, then I'm a little more screwed. Kaczynski, you are not doing the thing correctly, okay? Come back. I'm always like, oh, paralysis is no big deal, and then I get fucking screwed. <sighs> Clyde, get out there. Do the flying thing. No stun spore. No stun spore allowed. But Dead. Oh, fly. It's just such a good move. It's so good. Wonderful. What's your last poke? Caterpie? Of course it is. Of course it is. Do I have a Weedle? I guess I should take his Weedle, right? I gotta take something from everybody now. I'm trying to be the best, uh, most famous, notoriousest criminal in Team Rocket. No, you're kidding. I don't kid. I don't joke. Steal a Pokemon? Weedle. Heh <laughs> yeah. Got him. Yeah, let's name him, uh... Hamshank. Or, or Ham... Hambone. That's probably a better name for, like, Grumpig or some shit. But I know some criminals named Hambone out there. They're like big fat dudes, you, won't, you don't want to mess with them. Do I have a Paralyze Heal? I think I do. Let me get that. Good. You're cured. Congratulations. I'll come back for these picnickers. Let me get some more bug catches. Never seen you around. Are you, are you good? Look at the uniform, bruh. You know what that means I'm good, right? I'm good. Oh, he's got a Butterfree. Yummy, yummy. Oh, he goes for sleep powder. My god, maybe I should have stayed paralyzed. <laughs> That's not good. At least one rock throw is going to wipe this thing off the map. But yeah, he's hitting me with the special attacks. I don't know if I'm going to be able to weather it through all the sleep and whatnot. My goodness. Kaczynski goes down hard. Sorry, buddy. I guess this is uh, just what happens sometimes. Mm, we'll go into Clyde. He always does good work. Go for the fly. Whoop. He's like, hey, sleep powder. Not today. Oh, he went for confusion. He's trying to bust out the damage, are ya? Not today. Not on your life. And Clyde's up to level 15. When does Spiro evolve? I don't think I've ever kept one on my team for very long. You're too good. You right, bruh. Give me your Butterfree, though. <laughs> yeah! Give a nickname. Hmm. You're gonna be Ed Gein. It's a male Butterfree. He likes to dress up like a woman. <laughs> I don't even know if that's how you spell the name, but... Whatever. I don't even care. Let's revive Kaczynski. I don't want him to fall too behind in levels. I can just give him the little, uh, swip swap, you know? Let's bust through here. Get into, uh... Get into the city, and then I'll call the episode. Me? Well, okay, I'll play. You wanna play? I don't think you're ready to play. She got a Pidgey. Level 14 Pidgey. Oh, that's not too bad. 
It's kind of okay. Gust does nothing. I wasn't sure if Gust hit the physical or special side, but I guess it's the physical side. Um, do we want to go for rock polish? I guess we'll go for rock polish. Now I've got sand attacked, so hopefully I won't miss my next turn. I don't even have tackle. It's only rock throw, which I don't think has 100% accuracy. So that's, that's not good. <clears throat> Kaczynski, level 13. Good boy, good boy. What you got next? Spiro. Alright. He goes for the Fury attack. Wow, it does nothing. <laughs> I can't believe he's still faster than me. Well, I guess I can. Geodude is that slow. Luckily, another rock throw. He's out of here. What you got next? Go ahead. More flying pokes. <gasps> it's a far fetched. Gonna take that far fetched boy. Yo, yo. I need it. Knock off. Wow. Okay. Luckily, able to get the KO. And your far fetched is mine. Oh, that's so nice. I like that a lot. Hooray! Things just didn't work. Yeah, sometimes it's like that. Can I have your Farfetch? Thanks! Ah! Would you like to give a nickname? Yeah, sure! Uh, let's just call him Sticky. You know, like his hands are sticky, but also he carries a, a stick. <laughs> it's not even that clever, but okay. There you go, Sticky. Sticky fingers. Should have maybe put fingers in there to make it more clear, but yeah, whatever. What's up with you, other guy? You got some stuff for me? Huh? You want to talk to me? Yeah, yeah. Just, just talk. Come over here for a minute. <laughs> Do duo. Oh boy. It's a mistake to have Joey Banan out here. Well, I don't want to send Bugsy either. I guess Queenie. But the levels. Put the levels. Let's see if Gacy can do some stuff. Wow. Crit quick attack? I don't like that. He goes for the rage. I'm just gonna yawn, and then maybe you can stop raging. You're welcome. You're welcome. He goes for the growl. It's not gonna affect water gun. <clears throat> don't worry too much about that. Dang. It'd be cool to have a do duo. I mean, yeah, a Choice Banded Dodrio is actually one of my favorite pokes to use. Well, so is a Choice Banded Firo, for that matter. Basically any flying Pokemon that's fast enough. Slap a Choice Band on it. Use it as a scout. It's good. But yeah, maybe we'll see what his next poke is. Oh, fucking Rattata. That's great. <laughs> oh, it's got Pursuit? Oh, no. That's bad. Well, I hope he doesn't use Pursuit again, or I'm going to faint. Let's just see what Water Gun does. Oh, it's Bite. <laughs> yeah, I'm also going to faint to that. Thanks. Thanks, great. Well, at least Joey Banan can get some experience. Good job, Joey. Get in there. Give him the low kick, which uh, is kind of a joke. Because Rattata's weight is like the lowest ever in Pokemon. Well, I guess we could see what it does. This thing is level freaking 16. Hyper Fang. Oh, I'm scared. No, 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 no. Oh my god. That is crazy. Alright. So, what we're going to do. Shove Bugsy in here for a minute. Um, I'm scared to even try for the Supersonic. I'm gonna put Kaczynski in here, he's probably gonna faint, but then we can go into Queenie and she can uh, double kick the shit out of this thing. I think that's how this is gonna go. This is a fucking scary Rattata, dude. Maybe I shouldn't have taken Rattata off my team. Now I am reaping what I sow. Alright. Double kick its ass. Blech. There you go, bitch. Blech. See, he's just a glass cannon. You see? You can handle it. 
You can totally handle it. You just gotta be like big and strong and stuff. There you go. Critical. <laughs> we didn't need it, but uh, I'll take it. Alright, cool. Good job, everybody. Got our ass kicked by fucking Camper Jeff here. This stinks. I couldn't beat your challenge. That's right, you couldn't. Steal which Pokemon? Doduo. Duh. Duh, duo. <laughs> Would you like to give a nickname? Yeah, I suppose so. It's a girl. Mmm. We'll just call her Ma. <laughs> you know, there's some gangsters named Ma out there. Like, uh, what was that? Like, family or something that used to rob people and shit like that? That I think the mom was called e Ma Yi or something like that. God, I'll fucking look it up. I'll tell you in the next episode. <laughs> Anyways, friends, I hope that you joined me for it. Thank you, as always, for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the Twitter, Discord, Patreon. We've still got that giveaway going on the Patreon. So, uh, yeah, join me for it. Win Black the Fall, and then after that we're going to do this war of mine. But anyways, a uh, big shout out to Damon Darkstar and Nika the Legend for supporting on Patreon. I shall see you in the next one, friends. And until then, bye bye. Goodbye, goodbye.